Hey everyone, time for this week's videos, and we're gonna play us some Castlevania The Adventure Rebirth. A game that fucking blew my mind. It was mind-blowing just how good it was. I mean, a lot of downloadable entries into the classic series that came out around this time. This, Mega Man 9, Sonic the Hedgehog 4. I really didn't expect much from them, and I was proven deliciously wrong every single time. Like Mega Man 9, I saw it's like, eh, okay, it's going for the NES thing, but I don't think it'll be as memorable as the NES ones. Dead. Fucking. Wrong. It's now my third favorite Mega Man, right behind X and 3. And then there were Sonic the Hedgehog 4. I was thinking, I don't know. All the newer 2D Sonics on Nintendo's handhelds, none of them quite lived up to the Genesis games. I don't know. And then, I, just from playing the demo, the first level, over and over, I was like, oh fuck yes. Finally, a new 2D Sonic on a console that put me in the zone. Yeah, I know not a lot of people like Sonic 4, but I can't help it. I, th I thought it was the shit. And then there was this. I was thinking... I don't know. Super Castlevania 4, that was a good remake of the original, and I guess the Dracula X Chronicles, the 2.5D thing, was okay, but a remake of the biggest turd the series ever laid, Castlevania the Adventure? How's this gonna be any good? Needless to say, within less than five minutes, I, I learned how fucking wrong I was. But you still got some fuckness from Castlevania the Adventure, like the eyeball enemies. Just just a little nod to the shit that went down before. Hehe, <laughs> burn, baby, burn! See if I can nail the other one. Ah, poo. Got some of the soundtrack from Castlevania Bloodlines here, but speaking of the sound, listen to the sound effect when these things come out. I don't know about you, but it sounds like a sound effect you'd hear on He-Man or something. And I never liked that cartoon much anyway. Yes, I know, for some of you, that is blasphemy! Well, what you gonna do about it? Didn't care for Thundercats and Silverhawks either. Ha! Triple blasphemy! Uh, I ran out of the firepower right then, didn't I? Oh. Oh, bullshit! It was like three inches from his beak! And is it me, or when these things squawk, do they sound like Iago from Aladdin? That's what I always thought. Anyway, that key I got... No, it's not a one-time thing like Maria Renard's key, the key to her cell in Rondo of Blood. No. No, no. Let me explain something here. I still think Super Castlevania 4 is a little bit better than this. It's longer for one thing, but... At least this kind of brings back the branching paths. It's still the same boss at the end of each stage, I'm pretty sure. But... The path to get there... You can choose a different path if you got a key, and... You got more than one gate, you can use a key on. So there's some effort there to... Keep things fluid, fresh, interesting. I guess it's a contrast to Sonic the Hedgehog 4 Part 1, which many cues was just a straight-up rehash of finer moments from the original game. And we got a giant bat made up of littler bats, because of course there is. And you're fucked. And that's an axe right there, but I'm not getting it. We'll have time to ax them questions later. Oh, one bad thing about this game. Ooh, 3,000 points. Yummy. When you pick up a sub-weapon, you don't drop the other sub-weapon. So if you pick one up by accident... Oh, wait, I already lost the sub-weapon because I used the key, so I guess it doesn't matter. 
That thing down there makes me think of that Neptunia thing from Yoshi's Island, the thing that was on the cover. By the way, have any of you guys seen that new Yoshi's Island game? My brother showed me some live runs of it when it first came out. It's ass. No, no, I'm not just, like, saying it's not nowhere near as good, good, but nowhere near as good as the original, like... That's how I view Paper Mario. It was fun, but it couldn't hold a candle to Super Mario RPG, but no, no, no. It just looked like shit. 3,000 more points. I'm pretty sure I had full health when I got all those meats, so what does that make? Exactly 9,000! Okay, okay, that was pitiful. Okay, keep the axe. The axe is kinda satisfying to use against this boss. For dry, red eyes, there is clear axe! Wow! Boom, boom. Ah, and, uh, yeah, you see what I did there? I... Along with getting my ass handed to me for a moment, of course. And he's... the game just pauses while it looks like he's kneeling to take a shit. Okay, how long have we been going? Seven minutes. Time for one more level, hopefully. Got some awesome music here. I honestly don't know what Castlevania this is from, what track this is. I know the one for the next level is from one of Christopher Belmont's games. In fact, his only other game. Belmont's Revenge for the Game Boy. I know... I'm pretty sure it's Aquarius in level 5. And they start off the final... bit with Dracula. OH MOTHER FUCKER! Ugh. Goddamn fucking dagger. Ooh! Okay, that, that that was that was fucking retarded. Dagger, and I hit myself with a chandelier. We're we're off to a terrific start here. I was just doing so awesome before. Ah! Oh, it doesn't matter that I lost the dagger now, because now I've got the key. Eh, I think I'm gonna hang on to it. And now we have... Aw, I gotta fight giant rats! Cute little giant bloodthirsty rats! Why do rats always get a bad rap? I mean, didn't Splinter from Ninja Turtles teach us anything? Oh, by the way, more about the fandom in reaction to that movie. I've read on some forums that are saying, Well, we're Splinter! There better be Splinter! Ignoring that there was a kind of a news release about a big actor being cast as Splinter. You, you might have remembered that. Oh, and, and that sound effect there, that book that also sounds like shit from an 80s cartoon. Ah! Oh yeah, in the hard mode, there's no floor there. You know, I think I might have accidentally picked easy mode by mistake. No, no, I'm pretty sure I left it... No, this has got to be normal. Because if it was hard right now, I probably would have fallen to a pit by now. I did try to go through the hard mode, but I kind of got stymied with kind of like the door key puzzle shit in level 4, so... I just put it aside. I, I did get through level 3, though. That was a bitch. And I sure to think what it'll take to reach death in hard mode. Yay, 5,000 points. Or I got an extra player, of course you can set it to get about 9 to begin with. 
damn, there's a delay on those platforms. Not that I'm complaining. Okay, how long are we going? About ten and a half minutes. Yes, time to ask some questions. Pray the Rosary, or something. Or is it called a Rosar? Uh, I remember it being listed as the Rosario in Lament of Innocence. That reminds me of the anime Rosario Vampire. I only watched a few episodes of that. Maybe I should go back and watch the rest. Just saying. We got Mermen, of course. Can't have a Castlevania game without Mermen. Of course, they don't appear on the first level this time. I have a feeling there should be a meet coming up, but I probably missed it. Flea men, because of course there are. Actually, I think I'll take the cross. Might be helpful against the upcoming boss. There we go! Now we're all set. Ah, fuck it. Whoever was in that last candle, fuck it. Okay, now we face this golem guy. Speedrunners must love this guy, cuz while he's on the ground, you can pretty much deflect, or if you time it right, which I obviously did not. But the power of the cross compels you, asshole. Or not. Oh, shit. I just keep doing this for a while. Okay, that could have gone a lot better. Uh-huh, he's blocked up by the stage clear sign. I don't know why that's... Oh, now he's not. I comment on the dumbest things, don't I? How long has this been going? 13 minutes? Okay, just a couple more minutes. I think I've pretty much said all there is to say about this. I mean... It's one of the best Wii games there is, downloadable or not. It just proves that there might be a thing to downloadable entries in your favorite franchises. Yeah, take the axe. Gosh. Of course, now they can hit me with their equivalent of the axe. I mean, I shouldn't have come down here after all. Fail. Oh, you can't jump on the stairs, you gotta find the sweet spot. Just like in the old days. Ah, oh, come on! Both! <sighs> well, since I was off to a terrific start, that might as well be it. That's Castlevania The Adventure Rebirth for the Wii. One of the best remakes out there, and coming from someone who fucking hates remakes on principle, that's saying a lot. So, just... that's it. There's nothing more to do except laugh at this fucking red skeleton constantly getting impaled, dumbass.